Hello friends. Welcome to Library Facts. In today's video, we'll learn how to create a professional library website using Google Sites. Whether you're building a website for a school library, college library, or public library, this tutorial will guide you. So let's get started. What is Google Sites? Google Sites is a free tool by Google that allows you to create professional websites without any coding knowledge. It's user-friendly and comes with features like templates, drag-and-drop functionality, and seamless integration with other Google tools like Drive, Calendar, and Forms. It's a perfect platform for creating a library website. It not only provides online access to library resources, but also helps users search for books, download ebooks, and stay updated on library events. A well-designed website enhances the library's reach and usability. How to create a Google account. To get started, you'll need a Google account. If you already have a Gmail account, you can use it. Simply go to sites.google.com, click on the Create button, and start building your website. Choosing a template for your library website. Google Sites offers several pre-designed templates. For a library website, you can choose templates under the Education or Portfolio categories. Once you select a template, you can customize it to suit your needs. Designing the website layout. Now it's time to design your website layout. Google Sites allows you to add different sections to your pages, such as 1. Home page. Introduce your library, its mission and vision. 2. Book catalog. Add categories and lists of books available in the library. 3. Ebooks and resources. Provide links to ebooks, research papers, and other digital resources. 4. Events and news. Share updates about upcoming library events and news. 5. Contact information. Include the library's address, phone number, and email ID. Adding content to your website next. Add content to your website. Google Sites allows you to easily add 1. Text. Information about the library, book lists, and event details. 2. Images. Photos of the library, book covers, and event snapshots. 3. Videos. Library tours, book reviews, and event videos. 4. Links, ebooks, online resources, and social media profiles. Integrating Google Tools. One of the biggest advantages of Google Sites is its integration with other Google tools. For example, 1. Google Drive. Embed documents, PDFs, and ebooks from Google Drive. 2. Google Calendar. Add a calendar to Display library events. 3. Google Forms. Create feedback forms for users. Publishing your website. Once your website is ready, click the Publish button. Set a custom URL for your website and choose whether you want it to be public or private. Your library website is now live. After publishing, regularly update your website with new books, events, and resources. Use user feedback to improve the website and keep it relevant. Tips for a great library website. 1. User-friendly design. Keep the design simple and easy to navigate. 2. Responsive layout. Ensure the website works well on mobile and tablet devices. 3. Search functionality. Add a search bar to help users find books and resources quickly. 4. Real-time updates. Regularly update the website with fresh content. Examples of library websites. Here are some examples of Well-designed library websites. 1. National Library of India. https colon slash slash nationallibrary.gov.in 2. Library of Congress. https colon slash slash loc.gov 3. Digital Library of India. https colon slash slash dli.gov.in Benefits of using Google Sites. 1. Free and easy 2. No coding needed 3. Google integration and 4. Security features. Limitations of Google Sites. 1. Limited customization. Customization options are somewhat limited. 2. Storage limits. Dependent on Google Drive's storage limits. 3. Lacks advanced features. Not suitable for highly advanced websites. Best practices for library websites. 1. Keep content updated. Regularly add new books and resources. 
2. Collect user feedback. Use feedback to improve the website. 3. Leverage social media. Connect your website to social media platforms. 4. Monitor website traffic using Google Analytics. So friends, that's how you can create a library website using Google Sites. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the Library Facts. Thank you.